Chief Justice Philip Carbolito and Justices Robert Torres and Catherine Merriman have issued an order today dismissing Song Jia Cha's interlocutory appeal. An interlocutory appeal is an appeal filed before a case has concluded in the Superior Court. Cha filed her appeal on double jeopardy grounds because she had already been tried and convicted in the District Court of Guam for her role in the Blue House Lounge prostitution case. The justices, however, have dismissed her appeal, saying the higher court has no jurisdiction over the case since it hasn't concluded yet in the lower courts. There is a law, the Supreme Court acknowledges, that allows them discretionary jurisdiction on interlocutory appeals, but that law states that only if it expedites or clarifies the proceedings, or if it protects a defendant from substantial harm or irreparable injury, or if it clarifies issues in the administration of justice. For Song Jia Cha alone, this law could allow the Supreme Court to entertain her interlocutory appeal. The problem, the justices note, is that Cha has three co-defendants in the Blue House case, two of whom have asserted their rights to a speedy trial. Therefore, the justices state, while entertaining this appeal on statutory grounds may advance the termination of the case or clarify further proceedings with respect to Cha, it serves to slow the disposition of the case and potentially complicate its procedural posture with respect to the co-defendants who specifically sought to exercise a constitutional right afforded to them. The two co-defendants are Guam police officers David Manila and Anthony Kenga. A third police officer, Mario Laksamana, accepted a plea deal and will not be spending any more time behind bars. Because Manila and Kenga asserted their speedy trial rights, the court must schedule trial within 45 days of the indictment. Similarly, while this appeal may protect Cha from substantial and irreparable injury, the co-defendants asserting speedy trial rights and who remain confined may be inflicted with substantial and irreparable harm caused by the delay of proceedings, they said. The order, however, does not prevent Cha from filing an appeal in the future. If convicted, the order states, Cha may appeal her conviction on double jeopardy grounds under our traditional jurisdictional authority.